Hello and welcome to the Friday drink. This is the spooky Ooh. October edition. I know you can't see me with this mask. Ah. <laughs> it's Jim. And this is Ruth. Woo. It's Halloween tomorrow, I believe. Tomorrow. So we're jumping the gun a bit early and we're doing some Halloween cocktails. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm Ruth. so excited. Halloween, Halloween, this is Halloween. <laughs> Drop that beat. Halloween, Halloween, this is Halloween. Because you and I like dressing in silly costumes. That's right. I feel like on Halloween, people actually get on our level. Yeah, right? that, like we're just on yeah. this level all the time and then um, people are getting although, on it. I'm not sure why my witch hat has a veil. It's like, am I getting witch married? Maybe, maybe it's just like to stop the flies from getting oh, at you. Oh yeah, it's Australian witch. I think I'll do that though. Well, I'm gonna have to try some uh, exciting cocktails today. All right, so Ruth did a bit up. of the research today and found not research. one, <laughs> not two, but three cocktail three recipes. Three Halloween themed cocktails. We've never, have we done cocktails on the channel before? No. No? Might become a regular thing. Maybe. All right, <laughs> Ruth, what have we got today? First one we're going to try is our poison apple martini. Ooh. All right, so apple teeny is like a, that's a, a regular thing. thing. Yeah. That's a, that's a I thing. I don't know what makes this one poison in particular. Maybe uh, we die. Maybe. 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 Here it is, Tim. Ooh, Ooh. very good. Ready? Oh, should I say what's in it? What's in it? Apple juice. Mm -hmm. Cranberry juice, mm -hmm. apple schnapps. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be sour apple schnapps, but I couldn't find any. So regular apple schnapps, Canadian whiskey. I'm, I'm gonna try it first. You gotta oh, hold yeah. it like a chalice. Mmm. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, Hang on. It's pretty. It's pretty appley, but it's like um. There's a lot of sort of spicy flavors mm. coming through on that one. What's that from? Is that from the schnapps? I guess. That's it's really right. good. I'd imagine if the Evil Queen was poisoning Snow White. Yeah. And she wanted to, you know, be a little bit more festive. She might put the poison apple in an apple martini. That's right. No, yeah. I mean, maybe Snow White, maybe she doesn't like fresh fruit. Maybe she just goes straight for the drinks. I don't know. I feel like Snow White's quite wholesome though. Wouldn't yeah. You reckon? But it was, let's think of like a different real life Maybe Snow she's White. like at home, housewife, a bit bored. To be wants fair. Wants a martini. Yeah. To be fair though, I would be a lot more suspicious if someone gave me an apple it's like hey yeah, try this True. apple and if someone was like hey try this drink i'd be like oh this is just a kind stranger offering me uh, a poison apple martini yeah, exactly yeah. they just want a party whereas a, an apple is like why 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 are there doctors near or something like that <laughs> <laughs> i like it you this like is it? good. This is delicious. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to start sharing all of these. Otherwise, yeah. we're just not going to get through to the end of no. the episode. It's going to be right. a disaster. We're, we're married and we live in the same house. So. I'm going to need another sip of this. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. <clears throat> while while you sip at that one, do you have a particularly memorable Halloween? Mm, last Halloween was yeah. pretty memorable. Yeah. Um, back before the dark times of the plague, um, you could go out and you have parties. You could say the true Halloween. 2020 is just mm. a Halloween episode all in itself. Last Halloween party, uh, Ruth and I um, went as Greek gods. I was Dionysus, so was he's Artemis. god of he was god of wine, mm -hmm. and we had togas, and I had you this, wore grapes. I right? had this like grape costume thing. Photo here. Yeah, I'll put the photo <laughs> up. Grapes over a toga. It was truly extraordinary. I, mean, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed you as grapes. Yeah, I think <laughs> this year we're just gonna do Halloween like on on Zoom. On Zoom. Going. Let's go to our next cocktail. These are all on Pinterest, by the way. There's so many. There's so many creative people. There we go. This is the witch's brew. Ooh, Ooh. I love the green color. I feel. Oh well, it's food coloring. <laughs> oh, very good. It so, kind of looks like um cooler cordial. Yeah, it does. Well, it it has sherbet in it. And I tried mm -hmm. to put the sherbet on top to make it look like a potion. I, I feel like I've decorated it. You've well. got a spider. You've I've got, got a, a sour gummy worm. So is the spider eating the sour gummy worm? Um, I think they're just chilling in the in the potion. They're just friends. Yeah. Apple schnapps again. Woohoo! Uh, silver tequila, uh, some lime juice, a little bit of lime cordial, a bit of food coloring, and like I said, I put sherbet on slash in it. It's sort of sunk to the bottom, but that's okay. We'll give it a go. All right. Hang on. Do you want a straw? All right. Uh, 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 be uh, careful. Uh, do you want to go at the same time? Oh yeah, why not? We'll do it like a 50s milkshake malt All right. style. Alright, one, Ready, three, two, two one. one. Oh, it kind of just tastes like a sweet margarita. Yeah, mm. it is kind of like a sweet margarita. There's a lot of um something. I think that's a sherbet at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. Move your straw up a little bit. Hmm. Oh yeah. You like it? Hang on. You gotta crunch the the sherbet a little bit. So if you are making this in a cauldron or something for your Halloween party, yeah. Make sure you tell people there's sherbet. So there's like, is this like dust? Is this yeah. flies? Is this disgusting? 
Oh, show me your tongue. Ah. Oh my god. Can you see it? <laughs> That's pretty spooky. All right. I like it. It's pretty nice. It's it's supposed to have dry ice too, so it's like a bubbling cauldron. Oh yeah, we, we don't have the budget for no, that. No. Oh man, my blood sugar. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Halloween movies. Do mm -hmm. you watch them? If mm -hmm. so, what would you recommend? Mm -hmm. I'm a big baby. You're a big you baby? Know that. Yeah. I don't like horror movies or really scary movies, so mm. my favorite, but I like like spooky stuff, but like fun spooky. So mm. my favorite Halloween movie, are you using two straws? No, 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 no. Never do that. Never, Never do. It's just poking me in the face. Sure. My favorite Halloween movie is <laughs> The Nightmare Before Christmas. You could argue it's a Christmas movie too. Exactly. It's I like, love it. I love the music. I love the animation. It's like a November movie because it's mm. like the average of Halloween at the end of October yeah. and Christmas at the end of December is somewhere in November. Maybe I should watch it in November then. But going back to like the mm. kind of like, oh, I'm a big wuss, I always feel that like Halloween is like bringing out the campsite. Yeah, it's very silly. The campsite of things <laughs> that are traditionally like it's spooky. Scary, yeah. It's like, ooh, spooky woods at the forest at night. Mm. Now it's kind of a bit of a laugh now. Yeah, kids like going around getting lollies. Well, I was gonna say, what's your favorite? Oh, yeah. I think like Hocus Pocus is a really oh, good yeah. one. Oh, yeah. It's very camp. Because of mm. like how silly it is. Yeah. And it feels watching back on it that no one ever knew that it was gonna be a big movie. <laughs> no, no one knew it was gonna be a it, success. Hey. Yeah. And um, yeah, the actors mm. are kind of just like vibing, having a good time, yeah. and uh, I would recommend that to recommend. people. Recommend. It's got like Sarah Jessica Parker and... Yeah, she was the hot one. Yeah, and <laughs> the other two. I just yeah. remember one of them mm. was one of the nuns from Sister Act. Yes, I correct. can't remember. I'm really sorry. The one really with the good voice, yeah. 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 But you don't like scary movies that much either. No. But you play that game with, with your friends. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> spooky ghost game. Um... October 2020 is all about phasmophobia in which go. you are ghost hunters. We're not even sponsored by them. Exactly. <laughs> phasmophobia, it's, it's made by one guy in Unity. So what? He's like absolutely oh, man, gone above fun. and beyond, punching that's above fun. his weight. Well, it's you're a fun some game. Of that one. I want some of this. It's a fun game. You got to go into haunted mm. locations, mm. find out what ghost lives there. Mm. Sometimes you get killed, but it's okay. Tim screams like a girl. Only sometimes. This is delicious. This tastes like apple crumble. It's the yeah. second time we've had apple crumble on the show. Throwback to Zephyr's Cider right Ooh. here. Are you quite done? Yeah, I'm kind of just trying to wrap my head around it because it's such like a the sil like the apple with the <laughs> silver tequila. Sorry, I'm putting on my like review no, brain right okay. now. It's quite an interesting combination. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be sour apple, so it's meant to be more like a yeah. sour margarita. This is more like sweet because yeah. it's just regular apple schnapps. It's all right. I dig it. I dig it in this, in the um, apple martini. Number We're ready three. for our last one. What's behind door number three, the Ruth? old classic. Brain hemorrhage. What? Oh, man, this does look truly disgusting. I know. Yeah, now these, this is a, uh, this a is shot. This is a classic. It's a classic it traditional is. shot of uh, peach schnapps with grenadine and Baileys. And you can see, um, we'll have, you know, the beef footage there. It yeah. looks kind of like a brain. <laughs> that's like started bleeding. Yeah, um, med students, yeah. if you've seen a real brain hemorrhage. So this that's is quite cool. a big shot. Do you have to shoot it or can you sip it like you a little sip girl? It. Sip it. I don't want to drink all that in one Yeah, go. exactly. Otherwise um, we'll never make it to the end of the episode. I, I just don't know if you'll get all the flavors. Yeah, so. that's all right. All right, all right. cheers. Ready? Cheers. This is our first cheers. Oh, I love that. Can we do that again? Yeah, that's a nice. ASMR. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice little clink. All right. Mm. Oh. oh, oh no. Oh, that was weird. So the. Bailey's oh. cream has separated in the schnapps. Maybe that's why you do it all as one shot. Oh, okay. I don't really want to drink it all as one shot though. You're just gonna have a whole bunch of grenadine. At the I bottom. just got the brain part now. So you now just it's just- Sucked the brain out of it. Now it's just a couple of drops of um, yeah. grenadine in some like German style peach This schnapps. is pretty delicious. It tastes like peaches and cream, but we don't really do shots ever. No, if so. you, although if any of our viewers want to send us some shot glasses as, as a present, we will definitely thank you and use them on the oh. show. Oh, it's like curdled cream suspended in a liquid. Ooh. I'm glad the Baileys is gone now. Kind of once you get past the brain of this horrific yeah. brain injury, it's, it's quite bearable, you know? I think that's why it's supposed to be done as a whole shot, but I didn't really want to drink. Cool. It's pretty yummy though. Like I said, it tastes like peaches and cream to me. Yeah, I get that. Mm. I like get peach that. Like peach schnapps is pretty gentle. Would you order this at a bar? Probably be very overpriced at a bar. I don't think- I only did this because we had leftover grenadine and Baileys from before we did October. So. Yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure if I ordered one of these at the bar, unless it was like a Halloween style event, yeah. I'm pretty sure the bartender would look at you and like card you again. It's like, how yeah. old are you how old really? Are you? <laughs> first time I had a brain hemorrhage was at a bar mm. and um, 
It was with a friend who was 10 years older than me, so like... Wait, was, yeah. teaching the young ones all about the good things in life? Yeah. It was more about the novelty of seeing like the Bailey's brain suspended. Mm. It's pretty, it looks amazing. I think the thing about all of these cocktails and showing them is it's good, but I can't feel like I'm sitting, sitting back with my beer and yeah. like doing it regular. Cocktails so. definitely have a more festive feel, don't they? Ooh, <laughs> festive <laughs> feelings. But that's, that's true though. Like I think that's kind of the point of cocktails is they're meant to be special, you know? Like, yeah, colorful, mm. fun. I mean, a cocktail is called a cocktail because it looks Looks like you know the back of a, a rooster, which is all these fabulous green feathers. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like one of those that. old timey words. Tim, can I get a pet spider? I feel like it'd be cute if I could walk around with the massive tarantula just like hanging out on my shoulder. I think he'd be able to train a huntsman much better than a tarantula. Yeah, well, I don't really can like you get spiders. In Australia? No, you, you can. don't like spiders. No, I, like I don't spiders. like spiders. They're just a <laughs> bit like too many legs and the can way they, they move. Eat all Mosquitoes. I know theoretically that they're very good for their surrounding environment, but mm -hmm. still, it's just they, the way they scuttle when they get spooked. It's no, like the cutest. Which right. one's your favorite? All right, yeah, we're comparing. No, we can't really give tennis. Nah, but just which one's your favorite? These are all again all from Pinterest. Um, yeah. I reckon for aesthetic, yeah. I really you can't go wrong with a brain hemorrhage because you yeah, see it. Yeah, that was really cool. You was... see it and you believe it. Yeah, and there's a reason why it's a Halloween classic. For a long drink, I think this is better than that. Oh, there you go. Um, I would like it probably a little bit more iced down because yep. you feel like I feel like there's some sort of sugary. Well, it's the sherbet that's sunk to the bottom. Mm. You like margaritas, and that's mm. essentially a. I feel like the, the sort of the whiskey in that mm. one, um, it doesn't equal the sum of its parts oh. as well. I think that the tequila pairs better. There you go. I would really like to try this. Wait, mm. I'd really like to try this with the sour style yeah. apple. Yeah. But what about you? What's what's your favorite um, of the I mean, evening? I think, again, aesthetically, the brain hemorrhage always looks amazing. But mm -hmm. it was weird having like the creamy Baileys had kind of, you know, curdled a bit with the schnapp. It's a trick and a treat. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, but I'm going to go with the poison apple martini. This was, I don't know. I, you don't reckon that the whiskey and apple goes. I think it goes really well. And actually, I'm glad I didn't put sour apple schnapps in this. I'm glad really? it's regular. Like I said, it tastes like spicy and autumn-y. But this is what I think of when I think of Halloween, like autumnal, spicy yeah. apples, you know. This is a Halloween, and it's not like a little kitty cocktail where it's just all sugar and sherbet. And oh, okay, it yeah. It feels like a more refined. You feel like an advanced woman, you know. Advanced witch. Exactly. I mean, I am. You need a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, a bit, a little bit more to your, your drinks than just a whole mm. lot of sugar. Would yeah, you, it feels classy, man. You know how, like, yeah. Halloween, it, you're right, is there's that sense of that northern hemisphere moving into autumn, whereas yeah. when we have Halloween here, it's yeah. just like hay fever and <laughs> the days are getting longer. So do you think yeah. we should ever switch Halloween? I've always thought this about... Um, and having it in about, May? Well, about all our festivals and holidays, to be honest. Like, Christmas here <laughs> is hot and you go swimming. Yep. You know, Halloween, it's springtime. Easter, which is supposed to be about new life, is in autumn where everything's dying. But you know what? I think it's nice. I think it gives us a, a, a sense of our own culture in Australia. I think the holidays, because yeah. they're so different from most of the world, because most of the world... No, most the of the world... The Northern Hemisphere fear is most of the world. Right? Yeah, sure. Sure. You have very set ideas about each holiday, you know, and they're all based on like you know, back in the day on like pagan yeah. rituals to do with, you know, is the seasons. And it is weird that it's all backwards here, but I kind of like it. I like yeah. that we own it, that it's like, yeah, Christmas is in shorts and thongs. Yeah, I think it's like self-satirizing yeah, almost. And that's like Aussie. something that Aussies do is we just yeah. make fun of things as soon as they're invented. Yeah. Oh, we've been in Europe for Easter. Yeah. And Halloween. Mm -hmm. Not a long episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this spooktacular Boom. episode of the Friday Drink. Let us know if you've tried any of these before. If you have other suggestions. We're moving, you know, oh, not away from beer, but we're doing all different things. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Happy Friday and happy Halloween. <laughs> what? How did you? It just slipped through. Oh, no. Tim, your head is too fat.